Hey guys, it's Thursday, September 10th. The time is 3.50 p.m. and the temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. I'm currently walking east on Queen Street in the east end of the city's Beaches neighborhood. And the plan for this walk is to head on up to the R.C. Harris Water Treatment Plant. And from there, I'll go to the southern end of the property and walk east along that. And I'll see if I can find the city's so-called secret beach, which I've heard of, but have never actually been to before. And apparently the entrance way is a bit out of the way and difficult to find. Although I have heard there are a few different entrances, so we'll see if I can find one of those. You're kind of exploring this with me for the first time. And this here is the Neville Park Streetcar Loop, which is the eastern terminus of the 501 Queen Street Streetcar. That streetcar there is heading all the way to Long Branch on the city's west end, right where the border of Mississauga is at the Etobicoke Creek. I've ridden my bike by here a number of times, but I've never actually gotten off and taken a look around this property. So this is the front facing side of the water treatment plant. It opened in 1941 and it was built to address a shortage of clean drinking water in the city at that time. And it still serves, I believe, as the city's primary water treatment plant. I think a little under half of the water for the city of Toronto and the region of York is treated here. Perhaps this route <laughs> along the top wasn't the best. Like I said, you're exploring this with me for the first time. And it's one of the city's few examples of classic Art Deco style building, which is a little unfortunate, but at least we have some fine examples of it, such as Commerce Court North in the Financial District. So that straight ahead should be the eastern edge of the string of beaches that form the southern end of the beaches neighborhood. I believe that would be Balmy Beach. So let's head down there and take a quick look. There seems to be a fair bit of construction and maintenance going on at this property right now.
Let's see where this leads over here. Private property, no access to beach. I guess over the years, a number of people have tried to park in this spot. Please do not feed the wildlife. You're entering a dog off leash area. It's all useful information. So I'm actually not on the water treatment plant property grounds right now. I'm just a few feet on the western edge, but I want to come take a look at what the beach looks like down here. There's a La Quest along the string of beaches that form the southern end of the Beaches neighborhood. Off in the distance there is the CN Tower and the city's financial district. And straight to the south of Lake Ontario would be the state of New York. I have a feeling this isn't going to be the only sketchy walking I'll have to do today. Oh, that dog's going way out there. He or she probably swims better than I do. All right, let's head on back to the water treatment plant and see if I can find this alleged secret beach. I don't think the look from down there will be much different than the look I just had, so we'll take a pass on that area. And apparently these buildings are just as nice on the inside as they are on the outside. And they do open to the public a few times a year, although that's Probably not the case this year with the pandemic and everything, but perhaps next year I'll be able to get a look around inside. And this property has been featured in a number of movies and TV shows over the years often posing as some form of insane asylum or a prison or jail. I think it was in the movie Strange Brew as an insane asylum as well as the Robocop TV series.
certainly has the feeling of one of those old school prisons. And this here is not the secret beach. I believe this is Silver Birch Beach. If I remember correctly from the three seconds I glanced at Google Maps. There's a look at the southern lake facing part of the property. And if you're afraid of heights, don't sit where that girl is. I don't wonder if she's got a nice tingle feeling in her feet right now from that. I know I would. I'm not really afraid of heights, but... So apparently this secret beach is just on the southeast edge of the property up ahead here. And I think there's a way to access it from some of the side streets in behind it. I'll take a walk up the edge of it and see if there's an easier way to get in. If it weren't for the lake and this fence, this would be a pretty kick-ass tobogganing spot. And if I'm not mistaken, there it is, the so-called secret beach. And off in the distance, well to the east of here, is Bluffers Park, where the well-known Scarborough Bluffs are. I'll have to get to that area to make a video at some point. Now let's see if I can actually get to that beach, because it doesn't look like there's any way here to do it. That doesn't look too fun to walk up. What's this? Could it be an entrance? There's a gate. Doesn't look particularly official, but it is open. There's no, no trespassing signs. This path here probably leads to one of the side streets you can take to come down here.
That would have been a lot easier if I didn't have to hold the camera, but... It's part of the fun, I guess. And we have made it, woohoo! Clearly I'm not the first person to find this place. Let's just head down east a little bit along it. You'd think the city might invest in some better infrastructure giving access to this place. That's kind of part of its charms and appeal, but at the same time... Do you really want people traversing down something like this to get their way down here? Although I'm sure that's private property that backs onto this area. I wonder what this concrete used to be a part of up there. Perhaps an old trail that led down here? This kind of reminds me of the walk I did not too long ago down the secret stairs. Behind the Rosedale Arts Secondary School. Or perhaps this is just part of a some kind of old water or sewage system. That seems to be the case. And you could not pay me enough to go in there and do some artwork. Pretty easy to guess what sort of activities people get up to down here. And normally where you have empty beer cans and bottles, there would be people more than happy to come clean them up and exchange them for some coins, but 
I guess this area is just a little too far out of the way, not exactly worth their efforts. Or maybe there's some weird kind of territorial rights thing going on with the groups of people that do that sort of thing. Okay, let's head on out of here. Maybe I'll keep the camera running as I do that. This is not the sort of beach you want to wear just your flip-flops to, that's for sure. Since I don't know any other way, I might as well go up the same way I came down. It looks like there's people coming down now. All right, somehow I am out of breath. So I think I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching. There are links to my Patreon if you wish to support the channel in the description, as well as my Instagram account. And I've added a PayPal donations link. If you haven't yet already done so, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. All right, I'm going to catch my breath and have a quick lunch that I packed with, my, with myself up here. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.